Hi, it's Tom with Heritage Electrical. In this video, we're going to give you a bit of an overview of a recent job that we've just completed. It's the complete refurbishment of a commercial premises. So yeah, so we'll just take you through what's gone on here. Now we've already done a video actually partway through the job on how we have upgraded the existing single phase supply up to a three phase supply and a little bit about what's involved with that. So the original use for this premises was as temporary accommodation for foreign students, I believe, coming uh, to study in the UK. There's maybe 10 to 12 rooms that have been sectioned off that were used as accommodation. There's communal toilets, bathroom, there's a communal kitchen. So as we're just walking around now, you see this is just when we started the job and we're just planning out where we were going to put the new distribution board, where we were going to put the alarm panel, the CCTV, NVR, etc. This is the old kitchen. You'll see in a moment this all gets ripped out, replastered. Now most of the existing wiring was all surface mounted in mini trunking. Obviously, we we're taking it pretty much back to bare brick in places, so it gave us the opportunity to chase all these cables in. You see here we are installing some risers where we can run our low voltage and our extra low voltage and data separately. So that's the ground floor. Let's just take a quick look up the stairs at some of the existing rooms. So there's a few different layouts of rooms over two floors. This is one of the bigger rooms. Now what's going to happen here is these are going to be turned into individual music studios. And so there's going to be a room within a room built in each of these rooms to prevent leakage of any sound between the rooms or into the corridors or into the adjacent properties. So there's going to be lots of acoustic insulation, acoustic gray plasterboard, acoustic underlay before the carpet goes down. So you can see there's a lot of work to do. There's some uh, dark areas in the corridors and what have you. So we're going to make sure that all the communal areas are properly illuminated with emergency lighting. The, we're going to make a feature of the stairs. The customers wanted some RGB tape going into the stairwells. So we'll talk a little bit about that in a moment. So you see there's a lot of a lot of work to get this up to scratch. So this is where we are pretty much finished. You can see we've installed Hikvision CCTV cameras. We've got emergency lighting outside. So everything that is needed to be replastered has been replastered. Everything has been painted. You can see here the initial entrance has been knocked through to make one big communal room. We've got some standard Collingwood uh, H2 spots in here to provide the you know the functional light. And then you can see we've chased some uh, plaster in LED trim into the wall or cut it in where it's been stud wall. This has then been plastered in to look like part of the wall and we've installed some RGB tape. So all our emergency lighting is self-test. We've used Ansel emergency self-test bulkheads. So they test themselves every three months. As with all emergency lighting, you've got the little indicator to show that the uh, the battery's charging. You see aesthetically the carpet's come off the stairs and it's been replaced with a nice laminate. And there you can see the LED tape is on PIR, separate from the bulkheads, which have each got the they've each got a PIR built into them or a, a microwave sensor built into them. You can see we've got uh, CCTV coverage on each floor. We first fixed all the fire alarm cables that the customer commissioned their own guy to come in and uh, do the second fixing for the fire alarm. You can see all the bathrooms have been done out. Everything is PIR activated. This is using a BEG flush mount PIR, which is also controlling the fan in there. And you can see we've used Ubiquiti Unify access points, as well as hardwiring data connections to each room. So the Ubiquiti access points provide Wi-Fi in the common areas. So we've got these nice bright color temperature changeable LED buttons here. And you can see here, we've got the original wooden windows on the outside. So you can see what sort of depth the room within the room comes to, and there's actually double glazed windows been installed inside. So this is fully carpeted finish now. We've installed these little Hager consumer units in each room. Each room has its own card meter to allow the tenants to just, you know, top up their electric and uh, allow the landlords to, to sort of manage how much has been used. Now, the reason we've done this is it just means that if um, any of the studios need to be adapted in the future. There's a consumer unit right there with a few spare ways in it if they need any other power from that. So rather than having all of the studios fed from one board downstairs and having to mess around with card meters and running loads of 2.5 or 4 mil or 1.5 cable to each studio, it's just one big supply into each studio. So I've saved them a bit of money on cable, easier to manage as well. And like I say, there's the option of you know, adapting these studios for any 
future use if required. We use these excellent Ascot heaters, very efficient, sort of very modern looking, and they chuck out a load of heat. So in the larger rooms, we've used 1.5 kilowatt, the smaller ones, we've gone for a smaller one kilowatt. So in our little plant room here, we've got the new three-phase board, got the supply coming in, got all our studios, we've got our communal lighting, our communal sockets, we've got uh, door entry, supplies, supplies for fire alarms, etc. That's the door entry, Paxton panel. We've got the Texcom alarm panel, again with a smart comm unit there so that the customer can, can arm and disarm the alarm as required remotely. And then we've got our big data cabinet here, so got our PoE switch which is powering our ubiquity access points we've got our cameras coming back to a patch panel and then we've got each studio coming back to a patch panel so we're just in the process of labeling this up tidying everything up a little bit then we've got our Hikvision MVR which again is obviously app controllable you can access and review footage remotely using the HitConnect app 